Welcome to Video Culinary. This recipe offers a delicious grated apple filled coffee cake made with flaky Danish dough. Sift 700 grams of flour into a mixing bowl. Add 10 grams of salt, 80 grams of sugar, and 10 grams of instant dry yeast. Mixing on low speed, add 2 eggs, one at a time, 350 milliliters of room temperature milk, and 60 grams of soft butter. Mix on medium speed using the hook attachment for 4 minutes. Shape into a round Cover and let rise until doubled in size, about 2 hours. Spread the dough into a rectangle, cover with plastic wrap or place in a bag and refrigerate overnight. Roll the dough into a rectangle 1 cm thick keeping the edges and corners straight. Use a rolling pin to beat 500 grams of cold butter to make it pliable, shaping it into a rectangle that is half the size of the dough. Place the butter on half of the dough and fold the remaining dough over. Seal the edges using the rolling pin. Turn the dough 90 degrees and roll it into a rectangle 1 cm thick. Make a fourfold. Visually, divide the dough into four parts. Brush away any raw flour. Fold the two ends so that they meet in the middle. Then fold the dough, just like closing a book. Cover with plastic wrap or place in a plastic bag and refrigerate for 30 minutes. Turn the dough 90 degrees and roll it into a rectangle 1 cm thick. Make a threefold. Visually divide the dough into three parts. Brush away any raw flour. Fold one third of the dough over the center third, then fold the remaining third over the dough. Refrigerate for 30 minutes and repeat once more for a total of two threefolds. Cover the dough with plastic wrap or place in a plastic bag and refrigerate for 30 minutes before using. On our website videoculinary.com you will find a variety of different pastries, cakes and desserts. Make the apple filling. Peel Pour and dice into 1 cm cubes 3 kg of apples. Melt 180 grams of butter in a pan. Add the apples and sweat for 5 minutes. Add 200 grams of sugar and half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Cook for another 5 minutes, stirring occasionally. Stir in half a teaspoon of salt, 
and 100 grams of raisins. It is optional to add some lemon juice to taste. Cool completely. Remove the dough from refrigeration and roll into a 30 by 63 centimeter rectangle. Divide into three equal rectangles, 30 by 21 centimeter each, to make three pastries. Visually, divide each rectangle into three equal 7 centimeter wide cuts. Make two to three centimeter wide cuts along each long side of the dough at a 45 degree angle, leaving the center piece uncut. Place the filling in the center. Lightly brush the pastry with an egg yolk. To make a braid, make overlapping folds, alternating one strip at a time over the filling at a 45 degree angle. Transfer the pastries to a parchment paper lined sheet tray. Cover and let rise for an hour and a half. Brush with egg wash and bake at 180 degrees Celsius until golden brown. About 40 minutes. Make the apricot glaze. Mix together 70 grams of apricot jam and 30 milliliters of water. Brush the apricot glaze while the pastry is still hot. Cool to room temperature and serve. Serve this apple-filled Danish pastry as a coffee cake or as a breakfast or brunch pastry. Thank you so much for using our recipes. Please visit our website videoculinary.com for more detailed and delicious recipes.